Welcome to Fun Time Lanes in Holyoke, Massachusetts, where the Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour is beginning its 2011-2012 season. The uh, season always begins with an event at Fun Time Lanes in Holyoke. And in this match, you're going to see the first, it's the first stepladder match, and you're going to see Tom Bishop, who is the number four seed, qualifying with a 643 in five strings against the number five seed, Steve Vadney, who qualified with 626. Both of these bowlers are no stranger to the, uh, the, uh, tournament scene in, in Western New England because they they both won tournaments on the Western New England tour. And Steve Adney, who's starting on lane six, is uh, a veteran of, of many years on the circuit. And besides the Western New England tour, he's also in the Pro Series and he's made a lot of appearances on TV and the old Channel 5 show and Channel 50 and the Comcast Candlepin Challenge. Steve is out of New Hampshire, and Tom Bishop is out of Pittsfield, Massachusetts. He bowls for, at Candle Lanes. Both bowlers are going to be open in the first box. Steve Adney with a 10. Tom Bishop will be trying to convert the 3-pin for a 10, and he's got it. As I noted, uh, both of these bowlers qualified well into the 600s. These scores were fairly high here at Fun Time. Steve Vadney qualified fifth with individual strings of 118, 126, 123, 117, and 142 for his 626 total. Meanwhile, Tom Bishop had 133, 102, 147, 145, and 116 for his 6.43. And Tom marks with a spare in the second box. Meanwhile, that'll be a, a seven box for Steve Vadney. Steve has 17 through two. Tom with 17 with a spare up. Steve Vadney drops five, kind of a light one-two pocket hit. He leaves the three five, six, nine, ten. And a similar hit by Tom Bishop, but he takes seven, leaving just a three, five, six triangle. And there is a spare by Steve Vadney. Nice shot to convert that five drop. Let's uh, take a closer look at how he did it. Really just a perfect hit there, uh, splitting the three, six, and converting that spare. Let's see what Tom Bishop can do with the triangle. He just Slides by the three pin, just taking out the six, so he'll be open in the third. And Tom is going to record a nine box. He's got 36 through three. Tom Bishop with 36. Steve Vadney with 27 with the ball working. And Steve adds just four. He, he took out the three, five, six, and nine. And the six pin went off the right side wall and then all the way in, uh, across the deck. And now it's sitting in front of the four, seven. Tom Bishop also with a four drop over on the left side. And Tom with a, with a nice bid there, but he was a little too full on the head pin. Steve Adney will record an 8 box for 39 through 4. Tom Bishop also with an 8. That gives him 44 through 4. He's leading by 5. Steve Vadney, in addition to the, uh, the Western New England Tour and the Pro Series, he's also a regular on the Senior Candlepin Pro Tour. That's going to get started in a couple of weeks, I, I believe, with an event at Canal Lanes in Southampton. The senior tour is for candlepin bowlers 50 and older. And Steve with another spare, once again converting a five drop. 
and we'll take a take a look at how he does this. There's a piece of wood behind the three pin, and that kind of takes some of the the uh, wind out of the ball sails as it as it tries to go back there. But the uh, six, nine, and ten do eventually collapse, and that's a spare for Steve Adney. Nice conversion. Tom Bishop with a three drop, and then he got three more. So he's going to have to uh, try and make something out of this uh, third ball. And he just gets one, so it's a seven drop, seven box. Uh, Tom Bishop with 51 through five, Steve Vadney with 49, and a ball as they switch lanes. Tom Bishop comes over to lane six. Steve will finish on lane five. Tom Bishop with a nine drop, leaving just the five pin. And Steve Vadney dropped that ball a little bit, getting putting just three on the spare. He's got 52. That does give him a one pin lead over Tom Bishop. And Tom is all over that five pin for a spare. And Steve just punches out the two pin, so he's really going to need an out here. He's only got four. He's got the uh, one... Three, five, six, nine, ten, and that is a terrific out right there by Steve Adney. That's very important in a close match. And we'll take a look at the replay. You'll see that he hits the left side of the head pin, takes out the four horsemen pretty quickly, and one of the pins just nudges the nine pin, which falls forward into the five. So that's a ten box, and that's a pretty important out. Tom Bishop now trails by one, but he's working on the spare, so whatever he can get over one will be his lead. And just two, so he's got a, a one pin lead, 63 to 62. Uh, Steve Badney with a six drop. It looks like he's got the one, three, four, seven. So what this match lacks in high scores, it's uh, making up for in drama. We're, looks like we're going to have a close finish. And Steve Vadney with a nice bid on that one, three, four, seven. He tried to use the wood to uh, kick the head pin off the wall into the four, seven, but the four pin didn't go. And Tom Bishop with a nice out there for nine. He had the uh, four, six, seven, eight, ten. In uh, that other kind of bowling, they call that leave a Greek church. And he was able to use the wood to uh, to get everything but the 8 pin and Steve Adney with a, a 10 box so through 7 it's a tie at 72 as Don Gillis would say a flat footed tie 72 all through 7 boxes so this one's going right down to the wire Tom Bishop on lane 6 and Steve Vadney on lane 5 Tom misses the head pin to the left, but he gets a pretty good break and drops seven. And Steve Adney with a strike. So that's really going to put some pressure on Tom to convert this spare. And it's 1-3-5. It's not that easy, but he's got it. Let's take a look at both of these, these shots on replay. First, we'll look at the strike by Steve Adney. And he has kind of a sort of a medium mixer in the 1-3 pocket excellent sidewall action there and he takes out the uh, the head pin wipes out the left side the four is the last pin to go and Tom Bishop in need of an answer and he's got one here he hits light on the uh, left side of the head pin and the head pin takes out the three then goes to the sidewall and comes back for the five so that's gonna once again it's a tie 82 for each bowler through eight with a with a markup, but uh, Steve's is a strike. And Tom Bishop with a strike. That's clutch right there. Let's take a look at this again. This is a uh, sort of a, a another sort of medium mixer, very similar to the strike that Steve Vadney just threw, except that it was on the other on the uh, one-two pocket. And Steve with nine, leaving the ten pin. And as you see, the uh, the other qualifying scores of, of other bowlers that, that missed the cut in this event. Steve Adney goes by the wood and takes that takes that 10 pin for a spare. So that gives him 
Well, it's still... Let's see, 102 to 102. And now it's Tom Bishop with the advantage of a strike to fill instead of a spare. Tom misses the head pin, gets seven, but leaves the one, two, nine. Pretty difficult spare. And Steve Edney with a, uh, he also misses the head pin, but he's got a pretty good break there. He's got the one, seven, and some wood at an angle to the right of the head pin. And Tom Bishop with a nine on the strike. So that means that if, well, basically, if Steve Edney can make this spare, he's, you know, He'll, he'll be the winner. And he's got it. Uh, so he's not going to need... Uh, not going to need much on the spare. Tom Bishop makes a 10 box out of it. And let's take a look at the replay of this spare by Steve Vadney. There's a cap just to the right of the head pin. That the ball hits that cap, and then it takes the, ten, uh, takes the head pin and the 7. It's a little hard to see, but that's... There was a, a pin... To the, to the right, and that's going to do it because Steve only needed one to tie, two to win. So he gets an eight drop, and that gives him a 128-121 win over Tom Bishop here in this first round stepladder match in the Western New England Tour event at Funtime Lanes. So with the win, Steve Adney moves on to the next round of match play, and he's going to face Steve Reno Jr. We'll be back shortly with that one.